Hey everybody, got a little more done on the blazer. See, I got the topper back on it. Topper's all been primed, sanded, primed. The top, the roof of the cab. When they previously had painted this rig, they never repainted the top of the roof. I mean, <laughs> they put a two-stage paint job on it, which wasn't very good, but it was still nonetheless a two-stage paint job, but they never painted the roof. So I got that all sanded down, epoxy primed, had some holes, had mounting holes in the uh, topper. For the back must have had some kind of a roof rack on it or something got all those fiberglass cover sealed up on the outside you see those where they were they were kind of wallered out a little bit but i got them all fiberglass and covered up and got the topper all primed I'd find a spot i hadn't seen before taking a just took a little hit right in here so at some point i'm gonna have to Grind that out and refiberglass over and reprime that. But anyway, the topper is not going to get hurt by the weather now. And I got getting some of the interior done. Starting to get the carpet in there. The first order of business was to put the sound barrier on the floor before I put the carpet down so I got that and get the front carpet on there got a little tip for when you're putting carpet down I'll show you here you got to match up all the bolt holes in your in the floor well, just taking, grab up some, when, as you're laying the carpet, just took some little quarter inch bolts, made the slices for the holes, and just drop some quarter inch bolts in all the areas where you're going to have where you're going to have tie downs and for seat belts and that type of thing it makes it easy to find them holes again because once you get this carpet laid in there it's a bugger to find the holes so anyway i got the carpet i'll be getting the back in i gotta order some more kill mat don't have quite enough to do the back the whole back of this so I'll get that in there because I got to go over the fender wheels with that. Make sure them, then you won't hear the hear the noise. You know, if you're going over gravel roads and you're flipping up gravel or anything up in there, you're not going to hear. It'll cut back on the noise in the cab anyway. And uh, with that kill mat, it's a, it's not, it's not a foam. It's a, it's a rubber. Uh, there's a chunk of it here. If you haven't seen this stuff, it's kind of a. I don't know what it is. It's, it's a rubber. You clean the. Let me get that off. Yeah, you clean off the degrease your floor and then this stuff is a flexible rubber barrier that sticks to the floor and it's repositionable it's uh i mean it'll it's got a good stick but it'll reposition and then you roll it with a small roller and i didn't have a small roller so i took a caster wheel off an old uh bed frame and use as a roller work great the uh, 
anyway the get that on oh i got the it's kind of hard to see you in the dark but got the new headliner in that's uh that was a uh that was a fun one but it's just a uh foam backed it's just a foam back kind of a faux suede type material just got a little maybe a what is that about it I don't know, eighth inch, eighth inch foam or so on it. It's not bad. It looks good. looks good in there. Then put it on with uh, here. Can we see it? This uh, Polymat High Temp Nine or Seven Ninety Seven Headliner Adhesive. It's just a spray on uh, spray it on the roof and you spray it on the inside of the liner and then you, you wait for it to set up then you're good to go and stick it on there make sure it's where you want it because it's not repositionable not too easily anyway but it turned out real well Got a couple, got a couple little, oops, where are we at here? I got a couple little bit of folds in it. Not too bad. It turned out okay. Not the best, but hey, that was hard bending up and getting up in there and <clears throat> trying to do that. But anyway, oh, let's see, where am I at? Oh, I got, I did get all, all the, uh, the rust out repair done on the inside. Of course, got the back done. It's going to show. Here's all the, here's all the rusted out internal pieces that's where the fuel tank filler is in there and it was all rusted out the whole back was gone it's completely rusted out along the along the back edge along the tailgate here's along the other fender well the frame pieces were completely rusted out where the bolts go through was rusted but in front of this it was all solid metal, just had top surface rust on it. So I got any of the rusted out pieces completely removed and put in with new metal. Here was the the outer rear pieces. This one here was completely gone. And I found another, another chunk, another area that was rusted out. It was cleaning up the rust and around this thing and right behind the passenger seat, there was a whole, this whole corner in here was completely completely gone I was using a needle scaler to to try to get rid of any rust and bam just blew a hole right on through so okay so I cut that out completely put in some new metal did few but I can't see it now because it's covered with a kill mat but I did a few lap welds is weldable primer underneath it and it uh, turned out pretty good, considering it's under the carpet. Don't have to worry about doing too much grinding on it. Then I put seam sealer on the 
all over the welds, the joints, and everything. And we're, that's good to go. The other side was was good. Um, got some rust down in this door groove. It took out the a little bit of the edge that holds the molding right there. Just uh, maybe two inch piece and one little chunk over here but below it was good I run the needle scaler all the way through there and uh, just took off any surface rust because it was from the top it wasn't from underneath but it nothing went through or anything so I just cleaned that up really good put some rust restore on there and and uh, we're good reprimed it and, so let's see where are we at now so that's about it for now just got to finish the carpet and get some got to get more uh, of the uh, this kill mat to put in the back and over the fender wells get the back carpet in ready oh I had to order had to order some new uh, some trim molding for the around here because don't can't find any of it have the back pieces that go on the back of the cab but i don't have the smaller front pieces they were all missing and around the inside of the door frame so but i do got the rubber molding to go on there get that up and a couple of spots of rust to clean out here around this where water set inside where the molding was get that cleaned up get some rust restore on that and oh, i'm gonna do try to do a issue i think i have a i think i have a here's the dash oh, wait talked about this previously but it's uh these cracks i think i found some stuff that might work for repairing that dash it's a uh i'm gonna probably do i might do a video on trying to trying to repair that whether it works or it don't work because there isn't a lot of cracks in it. You got some cracks around here. And of course this one crack about there. But the rest of it's pretty good. It has been painted, but I'm gonna I'm gonna sand it down because I'm gonna it's a filler. And I ordered it. It should be here next week. And once I get that filler in, I'll uh, show you what it is. And it's a it's a plastic best as I can describe it it's like a bondo for plastic so <laughs> we shall see i'm gonna try it hey it can't hurt the cracks there no other way to really fix it i mean i've seen stuff where they've tried using bondo and stuff but bondo is hard it doesn't it doesn't have any flex whereas this stuff here it's dry It'll dry and it's still flexible and it's sandable. So I don't all I can do is try and see if it'll work. And then I can prime and repaint the dash. And hopefully that'll turn out. Well, let's see. Still um that's about it I haven't decided a lot of things about you I know mean, all the seat belts still work and everything I haven't decided if I'm gonna replace those with new ones or I gotta make the back panels yet to go on the sides you gotta get some mm, quarter inch uh you know, maybe like some quarter inch marine plywood or something like that to uh to make the new side panels that go around the fender wells and stuff but anyway well thanks for watching everybody if you happen to catch this video and you uh 
want to see what I'm doing on this. I'm going to try to get my editing skills up so I can actually show some stuff as I'm working on it. But uh, just uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it. All right. Take care, everybody.